Welcome back to this session. So from today's session onwards, we will be solving numerical and find shear force and bending moment diagram for a cantilever beam. Now what is the cantilever beam? Cantilever beam kya hai? Cantilever beams are those beams where one support, one end of the support is fixed and the other end of the support is free. And the best example of a cantilever beam is a balcony, right? A beam provided in a balcony or a chajja. Let us find how we can solve and find shear force and bending moment diagram for such beams. So let us get started with the first numerical. A cantilever beam of span 2.5 meter carries three point loads of 1 kN, 2 kN and 3 kN at 1 meter, 1.5 meter and 2.5 meter from the fixed end. Draw shear force and bending moment diagram. So a statement is given. Reading this statement, we should be able to draw the beam along with the loading. So let's see how we can draw the beam from the statement along with its loading. Cantilever beam kaise hote? One end fixed and other end free. Aise hote hai. This side I'm taking it as fixed or the length of this cantilever beam given is 2.5 meter. So from here to here it is 2.5 meter long and it carries the three point loads one kilonewton load at one meter from left uh, fixed end support so let us say around here one kilonewton load or here the distance uska one meter the from left end support or next one point uh, 2 kN load at 1.5 meter from fixed end. So, now we have fixed end se 1.5 meter distance. Pe we have another load 2 kN load at a distance from here till here, and this distance is 1.5 meter, right. And the last load that we have is 3 kN load at 2.5 meter from fixed end. Now, the whole distance, ye cantilever beam ka pura distance is 2.5. Or left end support say 2.5 meter distance, hai, distance pe hai, bol rahe, 3 kN load. So, we ye last end. Pe. Or ye end pe, free end. Pe, we have 3 kN load. Okay, and uska distance 2.5 meter from left end support. So let me name this beam as A, B, C and D point. Okay, now let us find the reactions. Number one, I'm going to find reactions. Reactions. Up here, for a cantilever beam, fixed end pe reaction aayenge R A or ye jo free end hai B pe. Waha par reaction nahi aayenge because there is no support here in B point. Okay, so there will be no reaction. There will be no R B. Sirf yaha par R A hi aayenge. So we will have only R A here at A point because A point pe fixed hai. Okay, so I'll have total reaction of a beam will be equal to total load coming on the beam so what is the total load 1 plus 2 plus 3 and this will come equal to 6 kilo newton okay so i have ra equals to 6 kilo newton now let us find the shear force number 2 shear force calculation Just like we simply supported it, it the same concept here. There will be no changes in the concept. So, I'll have 
force at A. Now remember in uh, shear force calculation the forces that comes from bottom to top we take it plus top to bottom minus right so we have reaction RA coming from bottom to top so we have force at A equals to reaction at RA will be equal to 6 kilonewton now similarly force at C and left hand side of C so force at C and left hand side of C will be equal to last force kitna aya tha? 6 kN or yaha par beech pe koi force hai beech pe there are no forces in between so force at C and to the left hand side it will be 6 kN only now let us find force at C right hand side of C now right hand side of C will be here so here last force that we got is 6 now the force jo force c ke upar aa raha hai 1 kN wo hum right hand side pe consider karte hain to right hand side pe consider kiya to ye upar se niche aa raha hai to it is minus 1 right so this is equal to 5 kN now similarly let us find force at d and to the left hand side of d ab d ka left hand side it will be here right so last force kitna aaya 5 and is there any force in between C and D there is no force in between C and D so we have 5 kN only now let us find force at D and right hand side of D now if we say right hand side I go this side okay now here last force that we got is 5 kN 5 kN and there is exactly 2 kN force coming on top of D to usko hum right hand side pe consider to it will be minus 2 and this will be coming equal to 3 kN now you can see here this 3 kN is equal to the load that is at the free end which is at the free end here the free end with 10 kN aya hai or we also got at the end 3 kN so our calculation of shear force is correct now let us draw the shear force diagram from here Now force at A kidna aya. Let me draw this line. Force at A is 6 kN. I'll write 6 kN here. Force at C again 6 kN. Left hand side of C, 6 kN. Right? Force at C when it is going to the left right hand side, it is decreasing. It's becoming 5 kN here. 5 kN. Force, let me join them right so ye mera a point pe hai ye c point pe d and b point c ka right hand side pe jab ja raha tha to hame yahan par 5 kN mila now d ka left hand side pe ye side pe kitna mil raha hai it is again still 5 kN so from c to d again we are having 5 kN right now at D, right hand side of D, from this portion towards here, we consider it to right hand side of D. So, how much are we getting? 3 kN. So, it is decreasing at D only. It is decreasing. And till B, B ka last pe, yaha par 3 kN hai. So, yaha par 3 kN. Join it. So, yaha par 3 kilonewton so this is our shear force diagram all of it is positive right so let me shade it so this 
so this is my shear force diagram for a cantilever beam now for a bend bending moment calculation number three bending moment calculation Now bending moment के लिए ये थोड़ा सा अलग है. It is little different than how we found in a than how we found in a simply supported beam. Simply supported पे we went from our left hand side to right hand side direction. और simply supported पे क्या किया था जो क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन जाते हैं उसको हमने पॉजिटिव लिया था और जो एंटी क्लॉक जाते हैं उसको हमने नेगेटिव पे लिया था अब ये इन अ कैंटलीवर बीम वी विल कैलकुलेट अ बेंडिंग मोमेंट फ्रॉम द फ्री सपोर्ट जो फ्री सपोर्ट से है हम फ्री सपोर्ट से फिक्स सपोर्ट तक जाएंगे यानी कि हम वी विल बी मूविंग फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ओके सो Whatever forces is going clockwise direction for a cantilever beam, clockwise direction for that we will be taking negative. Clockwise direction for a cantilever beam will be negative, and this negative in a cantilever beam will give you a hogging moments, which which is a नेगेटिव बेंडिंग मोमेंट ओके और जो सिंपली सपोर्टेड पे हम जो क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन लेते थे दैट क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन देर विल गिव यू अ सैगिंग विच इज अ पॉजिटिव बेंडिंग मोमेंट सो यू मस्ट हैव नोटिस दैट फॉर अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम वेन एवर वी वे ड्रॉइंग फाइंडिंग द बेंडिंग मोमेंट देर वी ऑलवेज गॉट अ पॉजिटिव बेंडिंग मोमेंट ना फॉर दिस cantilever beam we will be getting a negative bending moment since cantilever will produce a sagging cantilever will produce a hogging moment for a beam okay to yahan par abhi yahan par fixed hai yahan par free hai to iske wajah se it will bend in this manner it will bend in this manner so let us see let us first draw, find the moments then you will understand now hum we will be moving from right hand side to left hand side okay hum right se left aayenge so for a cantilever beam jahan par free support hai wahan par the moment will be zero so at b it is free so moment at b will be equal to zero now Let us find moment at D. Moment at D will be equal to. Now see here, this moment, this force, this force, when it is going towards D, it will go in this direction. Or ये कौन सी direction हुआ? ये clockwise direction. This is a clockwise direction. and for cantilever beam clockwise direction is negative so i have minus 3 into distance i am finding moment at d here so what is this distance from here to here if from here to here is 1.5 and from here to here this is 1 meter right so i have minus 3 into the distance is One. So here, the moment at D is minus three kilonewton meter. Okay. Now similarly, if I find moment at C point, now I'm finding moment at this point. So I have to come all the way from B till C. So what are the forces that are coming? Three kilonewton. Then next, I have two kilonewton. Now this two kilonewton will also go in a clockwise direction towards B. So I have minus three into the distance will change now. So distance from here till C point. Yeah, tak. So 
यहाँ से यहाँ तक डिस्टेंस कितना है इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो द टोटल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम बी टिल सी इज वन पॉइंट फाइव राइट सो आई हैव माइनस थ्री इन टू वन पॉइंट फाइव अगेन दिस फोर्स इज गोइंग क्लॉक वाइज सो अगेन माइनस टू इन टू द डिस्टेंस इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो हेयर यू विल बी गेटिंग फोर्स इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन मीटर ओके नाउ इफ यू फाइंड मोमेंट एट दिस पॉइंट फिक्सड एंड सो मोमेंट एट ए विल बी इक्वल टू नाउ वी मूव फ्रॉम बी ऑल द वे फ्रॉम बी टिल ए सो वट आर द फोर्सेस दर आई हैव थ्री किलो न्यूटन विच इज गोइंग क्लॉक वेस्ट रिएक्शन माइनस थ्री इन टू द टोटल डिस्टेंस इज टू पॉइंट फाइव माइनस राइट माइनस नेक्स्ट फोर्स आई हैव टू इन टू द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम डी डी से लेकर ए तक डिस्टेंस कितना है वन पॉइंट फाइव सो वन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस अब ये जो सी पे लोड आ रहा है ये भी ए के तरफ ऐसे जाएंगे और ये कौन से डायरेक्शन हुआ क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन सो इट इज नेगेटिव वन इन टू द डिस्टेंस वन मीटर ओके सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू विल बी गेटिंग माइनस इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन मीटर नाउ लेट एस ड्रॉ द डायग्राम नाउ एज यू कैन सी आपको देख देख रहे हैं कि ये मोमेंट सब माइनस पे आया है माइनस माइनस एंड माइनस और ये माइनस क्या है ये सब हॉगिंग है सो हॉगिंग इज अ नेगेटिव बेंडिंग मोमेंट ओके सो ऑल माई फोर्सेस मोमेंट्स आर गन कम बिलो दिस लाइन सो आई एम ड्रॉइंग दिस लाइन हेयर सब ये लाइन की बिलो आएंगे बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ देम आर नेगेटिव इफ इट वॉज पॉजिटिव आई वुड बी ड्रॉइंग अबव दिस लाइन right so at b moment is 0 at at d i'm getting 3 3 kilo newton meter right at c i'm getting minus 5.5 5.5 kilo newton meter and at a 11.5 minus 11.5 kilo newton meter now let us join this line right so this is your bending moment diagram for a simply supported for a cantilever beam so this is negative okay so this is your bending moment diagram i hope this numerical is clear let us solve the second numerical let's now solve the second numerical draw sfd and bmd for the beam shown in figure given below so in this case the figure of the cantilever beam is given along with the loading so looking at this we need to find shear force and bending moment diagram so let us see how we can find shear force and bending moment diagram for beam loaded in this manner so the diagram is already given now we need to find the reaction number 1 reactions so the reaction will be equal to yahan par ek if reaction aayenge sirf ra aayenge and at b there will be no reaction since it is freely supported so total reaction will be equal to total load coming on the beam so total load coming on the beam is 1 plus 2 plus 2 into 2 plus 3 ye one is ud a point load two is point load 2 kN per meter is a udl and it is traveling 
for a distance of 2 meter so 2 into 2 plus 3 is again a point load so all together you will be getting you will be getting 10 kilonewton so reaction we have r equals to 10 kilonewton okay next we need to find number 2 shear force shear force calculation okay so now force at a will be equal to ra which is equal to only 10 kilonewton now let us consider force at d in left hand side of d last force that we got is 10 ab ye point pe dikh rahe hum d ka left hand side okay so is there any force in between a and d there is no force in between a and d so it is equal to 10 kilonewton now force at d and to the right hand side will be equal to last force that we got is 10 now we are considering right hand side here right of d so it will be equal to 10 minus there is exactly one kilonewton load coming on top of d right so it is it is coming from top to bottom so it is minus one so this will come equal to nine kilonewton now similarly force at c and left hand side of c now left hand side of c will be this direction right so the last force that we got is 9 kilonewton is there any force in between c d and c koi force hai? there is no force so it is 9 kilonewton now let us consider force at c and to the right hand side direction force at c and to the right hand side direction so i last force that we got is 9 now there is exactly 2 kilonewton load coming on top of C. So this 2 kilonewton will consider it to the right hand side of C. So minus 2 and a UGL is acting 2 kilonewton per meter which has started jo C se abhi start hua hai. To uska distance 0 hoga. So minus 2 into distance is 0. So this will give you 7 kilonewton 9 minus 2 7 right now force at b ye point pe ab ye point pe exactly 3 kilonewton aana chahiye because the force at free end is 3 kilonewton so let us check last force that we got is 7 minus now we have a UDL which has run for a distance of 2 meter and reached B. So, uska 2 into 2. Ye kiya to kitna aenge? 7 minus 4 will be equal to 3 kilonewton, which is exactly the force at free end. So, the force at free end is 3 kilonewton, and we also got 3 kilonewton here. So, let us draw the shear force diagram. So this is my A, D, C and B, right? Now at A I have 10 kilonewton, 10 kilonewton, at D again 10 kilonewton same, 10 kilonewton, at D when it is going to the right hand side it is decreasing and becoming 9 kilonewton. Right, so let me join the points 10 10 then it is decreasing and becoming 9 now C point pay left hand side of C pay we got 9 kilonewton so here also it is 9 right up C ka right hand side Y point pay Y C C point pay again it is decreasing and becoming 7 so I have 7 kilonewton at C point this point here is 7 kilonewton now 
from here to the B point it is becoming 3 kN so 3 kN here right so let me join the line it will become like this and like this so this point here is 3 kilo Newton so this is positive all so this is the shear force diagram now similarly let's find bending moment right number three bending moment calculation so for bending moment we will be moving from right hand side to left hand side so moment at free end which is b is equals to zero now moment at c hum ye point se yahan tak jayenge to ye kaise jayenge ye 3 kN load it will move in this direction which is clockwise direction and this UDL will also move in this direction which is clockwise direction again so clockwise is negative here in cantilever so I have minus 3 into the distance is 2 meter C tuck then next I have minus 2 into the distance of UDL is 2 into and it will act at a half distance 2 by 2 so with this we will be reaching C point and here you will get bending moment equal to minus 10 kN now moment at D point at this point moment at D will be equal to minus 3 into shift distance change over so from B till D the distance has become 2.5 meter so 2.5 minus 2 into 2 UDL into 2 by 2 plus the remaining distance 0.5 right next I have a point load at C so this will also be going in a clockwise direction and it will be negative so minus the force at C is 2 so minus 2 into the distance from C to D is 0 0.5 so this will give you bending moment equal to minus 14.5 kilonewton meter okay now last one we find moment at this fixed fixed end moment at a so i'll write it here moment at a will be equal to now i have to go all the way from b till a right so what do i have minus 3 into the total distance is 4.5 right minus 2 into 2 into 2 by 2 plus remaining distance from here till here 2 by 2 to UDL sirf a 2 meter pe lag rahe, right or yahan se remaining distance hame leke jana padega to kitna hai it is 2.5 meter so plus 2.5 meter minus this point load which is 2 kN 2 into 2 into the distance from C to A is 2.5 2.5 minus next I have a load at D so it is minus 1 and the distance is 2 meter right so this will be coming equal to moment that A will be equal to 34.5 kilonewton meter now if I draw this 
diagram I'll draw from here so at fixed point at free end at free end it is 0 then at moment at C is coming equal to minus 10 minus 10 moment at D this point it is coming equal to minus 14.5 so this is 10 kilonewton this is 14.5 kilonewton and moment at A is it is coming equal to 34.5 so let me put it here 34.5 kilonewton so let us join the lines from here it is reducing and then it is reducing and going in this manner okay so this is negative this is a negative bending moment so this is a negative bending moment of a cantilever beam so I hope this numerical is also clear let us solve the last numerical now this is the last numerical for today's session so even in this case the diagram of the cantilever beam is given and for this beam loaded with such loads we need to find shear force and bending moment diagram so let us get started let us see how we can find shear force and bending moment for beam cantilever beam loaded with such kind of loads in this manner let us start with finding the reaction number one reactions so for cantilever beam ke liye free end pe reactions nahi aayenge sirf yahan par fixed end pe reaction aayenge to we have r a here so the total reaction of a beam will be equal to total load coming on the beam so what is the total load we have first 2 kN per meter load which is UTL 2 into 2 plus 1 kN point load plus 1 kN per meter UDL into 0 0.5 plus again point load plus 2 kN per meter UDL 2 into 2 plus last the point load so if we add up all of this we will be getting 14.5 kilonewton so reaction ra is equals to 14.5 kilonewton here so now let's find the shear force number two shear force calculation okay so force at a will be equal to RA which is 14.5 so 14.5 and yaha par UDL shuru hua hai to minus upar se aa to minus 2 into distance is 0 so 14.5 kN similarly force at let me name this as C point and this D point. So force at C, right hand side of C will be equal to force at C, left hand side I mean, left hand side of C will be equal to 14.5 minus the UDL and the distance traveled by the UDL when it reaches point C is 2 meter. So into so this will be coming equal to 10.5 kilonewton similarly force at C and to the right hand side of C which will be here will be equal to 10.5 minus there is a point point load coming exactly on top of C which we will take it to the right hand side to hoga minus 1 minus 1 kilonewton ko UDL lag rahe or uska distance abhi C pe shuru hua hai to distance 0 so this will be coming equal to 9.5 kilonewton now 
फोर्स एट डी एंड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ डी अब ये डी का लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इधर देखेंगे तो कितना आएगा लास्ट लास्ट पे हमें 9.5 मिला था माइनस अब हेयर एट दिस पॉइंट देर इज़ अ यू डी एल विच हैज़ ट्रैवल फॉर डिस्टेंस ऑफ जीरो मीटर तो यू डी एल का वन इंटू जीरो राइट सो दिस विल बी कमिंग इक्वल टू नाइन किलो न्यूटन नेक्स्ट वी हैव फोर्स एट डी राइट इन साइड ऑफ डी सो फोर्स एट डी राइट इन साइड इज दिस साइड सो द लास्ट फोर्स दैट वी गॉट इज नाइन माइनस अब देर इज फोर्स एक पॉइंट लो थे जो डी के ऊपर आ रहा है टू किलो न्यूटन सो नाइन माइनस टू माइनस यहाँ पर यू डी एल अभी शुरू हुआ है अगेन सो इंटेंसिटी कितना है टू इन टू डी पे शुरू हुआ है तो डिस्टेंस इज जीरो सो दिस विल बी कमिंग इक्वल टू सेवन किलो न्यूटन नाउ फोर्स एट बी फोर्स एट बी और यू कैन ऑल्सो से फोर्स एट बी एंड टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ बी करेंगे तो इट शुड कम एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू थ्री किलो न्यूटन नाउ लेट एस सी लास्ट फोर्स दैट वी गॉड इज सेवन माइनस नाउ द यू डी एल देर इज अ यू डी एल ऑफ टू किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर लोड एंड वेन वेन इट हैज ट्रेवल्ड अ डिस्टेंस एंड रिच बी पॉइंट इट हैज ट्रेवल्ड अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू मीटर सो टू इन टू टू सेवन माइनस फोर थ्री किलो न्यूटन सो वी गॉट एग्जैक्टली एज द लोड ऑन द फ्री एंड सपोर्ट सो दैट मीन्स आवर कैलकुलेशन इज राइट Now let us draw the shear force diagram. Okay. Now here, upper A, how much is it? Fourteen point five, fourteen point five kilo newton, or this A point is here, right? Now when C point is going, so C is decreasing. It is becoming ten point five. So here, ten point five, ten point five. किलो न्यूटन लेट्स शो इन द लाइन राइट नेक्स्ट अगेन एट द सेम पॉइंट एट सी पॉइंट इट इज डिक्रीजिंग एंड बिकमिंग नाइन पॉइंट फाइव सो हेयर नाइन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन नाइन पॉइंट फाइव नाउ वेन इट रीचेज द डी पॉइंट इट इज डिक्रीजिंग एंड बिकमिंग नाइन सो हेयर नाइन नाइन किलो न्यूटन राइट Next, when it is reaching D and to the right hand side, same point D के अब जब right hand side पे जा रहे हैं तो it is decreasing and becoming seven. So seven kilo newton and finally when it reaches B, it is becoming three kilo newton here. So three reducing here, right? So this point here is three kilo newton. So this is positive shaded So this is the shear force diagram A point B point C and D point So this is the shear force Now let us find bending moment Okay number 3 bending moment calculation Now, for a cantilever beam, free end pe bending mom moment will be equal to zero. So moment at B, B point pe free hai. So it is equals to zero. Okay. Now moment at D point, Y point pe, jab Y force will be going this direction, clockwise direction. This two kilonewton per meter will be going again in a clockwise direction. So I have moment at D will be equal to clockwise is negative so minus three into the distance is two meter. D tak uska distance B se D tak two meter hai, right? So agla force hai U D L jo clockwise direction ja raha hai again so two into two into two by two U D L ke liye. So yahan se we get 
moment at d equal to minus 10 kilonewton meter okay now similarly we need to find moment at c point here so moment at c will be equal to now see only the distance will change the direction of which the force is going will remain same so next we have a 2 kilonewton load which will be going in a clockwise direction again and a 1 kilonewton per meter udl which will again go in a clockwise direction so i have minus 3 into now the distance from b selector c tuck kitna 2 plus 0 0.5 which is 2.5 minus UDL 2 into 2 into 2 by 2 plus the remaining distance 0 0.5 right or next we have a point load 2 kilonewton minus 2 the distance is 0 0.5 right and then we have a 1 kilonewton per meter load which is also going in a clockwise direction so minus 1 into the distance is 0 0.5 into and it will act at half its distance because it is UDL so this will be coming equal to 14.625 kilonewton meter okay now last we need to find moment at this point A so ye A point pe sub load aayenge aur ye 1 kilo newton point load jo hai wo aayenge extra aur dusra ye 2 kilo newton per meter load aayenge now considering all this load till a so let us find moment at a will be equal to equal to minus 3 into the total distance from b to a is 4.5 minus 2 into 2 2 by 2 plus the distance from here till here yahan se yahan tak ta udl hai to udl ka maine udl ka kya kiya hai ye ye yahan se yahan tak udl hai to udl ka 2 into 2 2 by 2 plus ab yahan se remaining distance yahan se yahan tak 2.5 minus point load 2 into the distance is 2.5 right so minus again up yahan se ye udl hai next 1 kilo newton per meter udl so ye 1 kilo newton per meter udl is acting for a distance of 0 0.5 only aur uska aadha pe lagenge aur remaining distance yahan se yahan tak 2 meter hai 2 right minus 1 kilo newton point load 1 into the distance is 2 minus 2 kilonewton per meter udl so 2 into 2 into 2 by 2 ye udl ka hai so ye sab aap find karte ho to moment at a will be coming equal to this is minus here will be coming equal to minus 39.625 kilonewton meter okay so now let us draw the diagram so at b point 0 honge yaha par d point pe it is coming minus 10 10 kilo newton meter at c point minus 14 so this c point 14 kilonewton meter and at a point 39 39.625 kilonewton meter now let's show in all of them so this is negative bending moment diagram for a cantilever beam so this is a bending moment diagram so i hope this numerical is clear tomorrow we'll be solving some more numerical for a cantilever beam 
So I hope today's lesson is clear. See you in next session.